Hey kids, hope you had a good week. <sighs> How does it look like I feel to you? Does it look like I feel mad? I'm not really mad. That was my, impression, my, my impersonation of somebody who's mad, of myself when I'm mad. I want to talk today about our feelings. We have all kinds of feelings. Oh my gosh, more feelings than I know how to feel. Uh, can you tell me some feelings? What are your favorite feelings? Happy? Excited? Joyful? Gleeful? We can think of all kinds of really good feelings. What are some of your feelings that are hard that you do not like? I don't like feeling sad. I don't like feeling, I do not like feeling mad. I don't like to be worried. And so we have feelings that we like, sometimes feelings that we don't really like. And have you ever noticed that sometimes we don't, uh, we don't like to be around other people who are mad. I know when I get mad, my kids kind of go, <coughs> see you later. They don't, they don't want to be around me when I'm mad because I'm kind of, I get kind of scary and it's just like, it's kind of mean. Uh, or maybe when my kids get really sad and whiny, oh my gosh, I get kind of like, I don't want to be around this right now. But I like being around people who are happy and who are having a good time and are excited. And so feelings not only affect us, they can kind of rub off on other people. Feelings are a big deal, but here is what I want you to know this week and I want you to remember this week and that is that no matter what we feel no matter what the feeling is God loves us and stays with us no matter what we feel and so our memory verse is from Psalm 139 verse 8 it says if I go up to the heavens you are there if I make my bed in the depths you are there if I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. And the person who wrote this, Psalm 139, had all kinds of emotions and feelings. And they knew that if they felt awesome, if they felt happy, if they felt great, God was with them. And if they felt sad, and they felt worried, and they felt down, God was with them there too. And so I want you to know that no matter what you feel, God wants to be with you. So here's the activity I want you to do. And this is kind of supposed to be fun. But I would like you to take a few pictures of yourself feeling different things. And you can kind of act, you know. So take a picture of yourself when you're super happy. Take a picture of yourself when you're really sad. Take a picture of yourself when you're absolutely mad. Take a picture of yourself when you're scared. So that, you know, I'm trying to be silly. I want you to be silly and I want you to show what your different feelings are like. You can show it to your siblings or your friends. You can share the pictures with your mom and dad. If you want to and your parents are okay with it, you can share some of the pictures to our, our group me so that we can see what your different emotions are like. Um, and so just look at the different pictures of what it feels like to feel different things and know that God is with us no matter what we feel. And then your challenge, your experiment, is I want you to talk to your adults, your parents, and I want you to make a plan for the next time you're having a really hard feeling. So maybe sad, worried, mad, down. And I want you to make a plan that when you feel that thing, you're going to do something to remember God is with you. Maybe you're going to say a quick prayer. Maybe you're going to say this verse. If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. Or maybe you take a few deep breaths. Or maybe you go for a short walk. But make some plan, this is your challenge, when you're having that hard feeling. Maybe it's sadness or anger or something else. Make a plan for what you want to do when you feel that way so you can remember that God is with you even while you're feeling that. So again, our memory verse is Psalm 139, verse 8. If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. 
Our activity is for you to take a picture of yourself feeling different things, so maybe like three or four different pictures, and make your faces, and then share that with your, your siblings or your parents, and maybe even share it with our little church. Um, and finally, uh, the experiment is for you to make a plan for when you're having a hard feeling. What are you going to do to remember that God is with you? I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween coming up, that you have safe time, that you spend time with your family and make some new friends. Um, happy Halloween, and I will see you next week.